Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to Esther's Song of Praise. I hope that all of you are having an amazing day. My coffee maker broke <laughs> this morning, uh, but I'll just go down and, you know, boil some water, have a nice cup of hot tea. I got up early this morning around 5 a.m., did my devotionals and walk my dogs. Now, after I make this video, I'm going to work out, shower, and, you know, finish the rest of the work day and be productive. But I came on here to say that I am so grateful for just you, for all of you, right? I know this channel is really small and that's okay. Um, I know the Lord's going to bless it and it's going to be building. But more than, than the growth, right, is the souls, is all of us being spiritual beings. I love that. And I love the fact that, you know, I can wake up and praise God. I can wake up and talk to all of you around the world. And I'm just, I'm so grateful. And I, I think that the older I get, the more I appreciate the early mornings. I used to be, um, you know, somewhat of a night owl when I was younger. And I mean, I was even born at night. So I've just always used to study better at night. I used to, um, you know, just really crave um, staying up late. And that could be due to just a lot of things, right? Maybe like just the fear of missing out. <laughs> and as I get older and I'm nearing my next birthday, I'm realizing that um, there's not a lot to miss out on, especially late at night, right? Um, there's just a lot of uh, mischief. And even the Bible talks about that. But now I am appreciating, you know, waking up at 5 a.m. and, you know, having a nice cup of coffee. I'm going to order a new coffee maker today <laughs> as well. <laughs> but just, you know, um, seeking the Lord early in the morning, you know, and David talks about seeking the Lord's face early in the morning and watching the sunrise and, you know, just that first warm sip of coffee. I'm sure you guys can tell I'm missing it. <laughs> um, but playing with my dogs and, you know, just small pleasures in life are not to be taken for granted because they're beautiful. And I'm really, really, truly grateful for every single day, um, even more so as I get a little bit older. And so I just hope that all of you are having a wonderful weekend as well, wherever you are in the world. We're going to continue on with the book of Psalms, chapter 16. And we're going to open with a brief prayer. If you're new here, welcome. Let's go ahead and get started. Lord, we thank you so much for every new day that you bless us with, Father. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. And I'm just so in love with who you are, Father, that there is no shadow of turning with you, Jesus, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And despite what's going on in our lives, up, down, valleys, or mountains, Father God, that you are consistent, that you are our one true anchor, our rock that we can build our house upon, Father. We ask that you would bless your word today, Lord God. Help us to have a heart of gratitude, Lord. Thank you so much for opening each of our eyes this morning and breathing your breath of life into our lungs. We thank you and we praise you. We ask all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. The book of Psalms, chapter 16. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out libations of blood to such gods or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. 
I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. May the Lord bless the reading of his word today. So my favorite scriptures are verse nine here where it says, therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. I think that speaks to the mind, body, and soul, which makes up the essence of man. And I'm so grateful, you know, that we can have rest in the Lord, that our bodies can rest in him, that our hearts or our spirits, right, can rejoice in who he is. And then our tongue rejoices as well, singing his praises. The Lord is worthy to be praised no matter what circumstances go on in our life. And oftentimes, and I'm saying this for myself as a reminder, it's easy to, you know, um, think that you have been forgotten or abandoned or, you know, that um, the Lord is allowing, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever test is going on. Um, and it's And it's easy to become discouraged sometimes. But I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, and encourage myself as well, right, to remember that the Lord loves us so much, and all things work together for good for them that love God and are called according to his purpose, right? Romans 8, 28. All of them, good, bad, or indifferent, you know, with the things that we perceive negative that the Lord allows to come into our life, those are, um, I want to. I was going to say lessons, but no. Sometimes bad things happen um, due to man just having free will, and it's outside of the will of God, to be honest. Um, but those are the. Those are also the times where we can pray to the Lord, seek His face, and we get justice for those who have wronged us. Um, and for the situations that have happened. And if used correctly, they can become, you know, um, stepping stools to, to fortify us, right? Trial, the trials by fire. So I don't want, I don't want to um, have my words misconstrued or my meaning misinterpreted because there's a lot of evil that goes on in the world that is outside of the will of God, that, you know, um, the Lord weeps at. But when I, when, when the Bible says all things work together for good, even those things that are negative, the Lord can turn around for his good. So my other favorite verse um, is verse 11, right? In this chapter where it says, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. And I think that that's such a beautiful encouragement to each and every one of us that we know the path of life through the Holy Spirit guiding us, right? Through his word, through communion with him and prayer. And that we're filled with the joy by being in his presence and with eternal pleasures we'll experience at his right hand. So even though things may be hard in this life, they will not be once we get to heaven. And I think that's such a beautiful sentiment. It's the truth, um, but it's it's a beautiful reminder to us. It's a beautiful way to encourage us to continue to go forward, to continue on in the right path. And in the end, we will be rewarded with pleasures at the right hand of the Father. Amen. I hope that all of you are having a wonderful weekend. Be blessed, brothers and sisters. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have any prayer requests, I'd love to hear those from you as well. I'll talk with you later.
拜。